do you trade Paul Rabel? Uh, uh, when you say that, you, you think, no, you, you would never trade Paul Rabel because of, of what he means to, I mean, we can start on the field as a leader, the guy who produces. I love what he's done with his game. Again, he's became much more of a team player the past few years and his uh, knowledge of the game. But then there's the business of the game. I mean, he's a draw for that team. And they they had better attendance than than a lot of teams in this league. And Paul Rabel's a huge reason why. I mean, I, I don't think you see many other jerseys other than maybe Ryan Boyle. and But 99 was the number you saw the kids wearing. So that's a sacrifice you're making. And, and, and we've talked about it before. But I if this trade was going to happen, I thought it would happen with Chesapeake. Because Ball lives in Baltimore. He's from the area. He's got a relationship with Dave Cottle. And, and uh, that made some sense to me. New York is not something I saw coming. So, again... I don't know this, but I have to imagine Paul signed off on this and thought, this is why this will work. Um, and uh, I, I think that while I don't see the return at the moment, there's no way you could say Boston won with this trade because all they got were picks and a guy who gets uh, banged up over the course of the season and Max Seaball. So at the moment, New York obviously you know, won this trade, but I think Boston should be commended for realizing that they need to rebuild and not being scared to to trade away a guy that meant so much to their organization. 